Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we will be covering layout grids. Layout grids are visual aids that help you keep elements precisely aligned in your frames. If you're designing for web, grids can be particularly helpful when thinking about responsive design, or how your design will appear on different screens and devices, like a tablet or a laptop. As the window shrinks or grows, a grid can help determine how and which layouts adjust. Let's try an example. To add a layout grid to a frame, start by selecting or creating a frame within our file. On the right, towards the middle of the Properties panel, we see an option to create a layout grid. Click the plus. By default, grids that are added to the frame will be a 10 pixel uniform grid, but you can adjust these settings in the Layout Grid Properties panel, and if you'd like, you can also adjust the color and the opacity of the grid. Layout grids are static and pixel fixed. This means that when you resize the frame, your grid remains intact. Figma makes it easy to add multiple grids to your frame. You can add columns, rows, or both. Here in the Layout Grid Settings panel, choose either rows or columns. Now that we have our columns, we can specify the number of columns that we would like. Let's choose 12 columns. The Gutter property specifies the space between each column or row, and the Margin property defines the space between the frame and the outermost row or column. Here, Figma has set the width value to Auto, and we're unable to edit the value. This is because the layout grid type is stretchy, which means the width of the column will automatically grow or shrink when you resize the frame. If we change the layout grid type to center, we will be able to change the width value. Using a centered layout grid can be useful when designing for an ultra-wide display, where much of the horizontal space may not be utilized. The last layout grid type is left. This will move our layout grid to the leftmost edge of our frame. We can now adjust the offset of our grid to add space before our grid begins. You can toggle on and off the visibility of all of the grids in your file by pressing Ctrl G on your keyboard, or by selecting the eye icon in the toolbar and then choosing Layout Grids from the Global Settings menu. If you are familiar with constraints, you'll be happy to know that they work with stretchy grids. If you're not, be sure to check out our constraints video to learn more. Let's review what we've learned today. Layout grids can be grids, columns, or rows. Columns and rows have three types stretch, left, and center. You can have multiple layout grids on a single frame. Gutter is the space between rows and columns, and the margin is the space between the outermost edges of the layout grid.